The number one thing that you can do to position yourself to build wealth is to invest in building a wealthy state of mind. Gary Thompson, the sales communication professional, best-selling author and private equity investor says, master the client conversion ladder and optimize your business success. He continues, many rising stars in business try to get from A to Z in a split second in the client conversion journey. That approach will set you up for frustration time, money, and effort being wasted. The alphabet has 26 letters. Each letter has great significance in words formation and in human expression. The client conversion process has many steps, and when these steps are overlooked, it negatively influences your ability to attract and communicate with the ideal client. You must invest in breaking through the know, like, and trust barriers that allow you to win in business. He went on to say, the first step in your client conversion journey begins with relationships. One, fill the relationship gaps. Two, leverage relationships to overcome client rejection. Three, and position your brand to stand out in the market. Gary wants you to be successful and invites you to call us today to help you master the client conversion ladder, optimize your brand recognition, and increase the cash flow of your business. To build a wealthy state of mind means that you are friendly with data. It also means that you have the ability to analyze data, to apply data, and to mitigate information in the context of wealth creation. Today, I want us to do a deep dive into data application in the context of wealth creation. On to today's subject, there are three important concepts that you need to take away from the theme of the subject. Subject matter. What is data? What is application? And what is wealth creation? So let us begin by examining data. Now, data represents knowledge. Knowledge is data collected. All right. Knowledge is data collected. Knowledge is also data analyzed. So let us examine this just a little bit more. Knowledge is data collected means that you have information in the context of wealth creation. For example, you may want to ask yourself how to build wealth. And what knowledge states is that you have this body of knowledge. Knowledge in the context of data analytics means that you have a deeper understanding of just the surface understanding of how to create wealth. For example, in our programs, we go very deep into one, showing you how to create wealth, two, helping you to assess risk associated with wealth creation and three, helping you to understand strategies to mitigate those risks. So any attempt to position yourself to build wealth means that you want to put yourself in this position of strength to understand data, application, and wealth creation. So far, we have looked at data and in the context of data collection and data analytics. Now, let us spend some time looking at application. What exactly is application in the context of wealth creation. What do you understand? What do you deduct from the term apply yourself application in the context of wealth creation? Well, application also represents knowledge, different types of type of knowledge, a different level of understanding. In this context, what application means is knowledge to leverage the data. Now, do you have the ability to collect that information, analyze that information, and then leverage that information in a way that makes financial sense in a manner that can position you to build wealth. So this is not any average application. This is your knowledge, your ability to apply the knowledge that you have collected, the knowledge that you have analyzed, to apply it now, to leverage it now in the context of wealth creation. And I will give you some more examples of this. The second concept here in the terms of knowledge represented or application represented knowledge, what I'm also saying is that knowledge or application Application in this context also means that you must have the ability. Knowledge is saying that you must have the ability to mitigate the data. And I will explain this shortly. But let us look at application in the context or knowledge in the context of how it can be leveraged to position you to build wealth. And let us go in here much deeper. You see, there are many persons that apply themselves after building wealth. But the question that you must always be asking yourself if the way that you 
you're applying yourself if it's a, it is based on the data. The data helps you to take inform action. An inform action represents a number of important concepts. It means one that you are market oriented. It means two that you're market sensitive, and it also means three that you're also market responsive. Are you able to take inform action to achieve a desired end results? All right. Proactive leadership is also necessary here. But let's go a little deeper into this because when we speak of application representing knowledge, what we are saying to you is that when you start to apply yourself to position yourself to build wealth, you must be asking yourself, what does the science say about wealth creation? You need to ask yourself, what does the proven theory say about wealth creation? And what are the best practices saying about wealth creation? The reason you're going to school is because you're not taking data, you're not analyzing data, and you're not applying data in the manner in which it ought to be applied to position you to build wealth. So you're going to struggle. You're still at a level where you're speculating about your journey to financial success. And you want to throw away speculation, the baby and the bad water in this context, when it comes to you being in that position of strength to take informed action to achieve your desired results. Knowledge to apply data or application representing knowledge is saying to you that your level of knowledge of what you're doing has to be at that scientific level, the best practices level, the proven theory level. Because you see, when you're applying yourself in this way, this enables you to achieve high rewards. This enables you to achieve measurable results. This enables you to achieve predictable outcomes with the highest degree of accuracy. Any attempt or rising to this occasion to master the art of applying yourself based on the science, the proven theory, the best practices is going to give you all of the above, the high rewards, the measurable results, the predictable outcome with the highest degree of accuracy. Now let's examine application and the knowledge behind application in the context of knowledge mitigation or data mitigation. You see, the things you used to do a year ago or two years ago or a few years ago, the possibility exist, doing those same things today is not going to enable you to achieve the desired outcome in your wealth building journey. This again is the reason why you want to always ensure that as you set yourself up to build wealth, that you're market oriented, you're market sensitive, and you're market responsive because data changes. Data changes. A hundred thousand of your ideal client might shift from one geography to the other. So if you go to that geography to set up your six, seven, and nine figure brand, you may not not have access to your demographics or you don't know that because you, you were not market sensitive, you were not market oriented and you are now being market responsive. So before you be put yourself to become market responsive, ensure that you're market oriented and you're market sensitive. So you can collect that information, analyze that information, leverage a change in realities to put yourself in that position of strength to make better, smarter, wiser decisions that can position you to build wealth faster. I said the number one thing that you can do to position yourself to build wealth is to invest in nurturing a wealthy mindset. And a wealthy mindset embraces data, have the ability to analyze data, have the ability to apply data, and have the ability to mitigate data. In my next broadcast, I will go deeper into data mitigation. And you don't want to miss it because it's going to give you access to information that you really need to position yourself for financial greatness. What I'm about to say, I want you to really focus on this because it's going to really change your perspective on your journey to build wealth. I asked a question early on, and that is how to build wealth. And there's a couple of things that I want to say. There's a number of things that you can do to position yourself to build wealth. You can start a six, seven, and nine figure brand. You can invest in ETF. You can invest in real estate portfolios. There's a number of ways in which you can do this. But knowing how to do this is one thing, is being able to apply the data points that we are talking about, collecting the right information, analyzing the right information, leveraging the information the right way, and mitigating when necessary is what's going to really set you up for success. So let's take, for example, that you're attempting to build 
wealth by starting your six, seven, and nine figure brand. What are things that you should consider? So now you have to take debt to invest in that six, seven, and nine figure brand. I would always say to people, there's no harm in taking debt. But guess what? Not everyone should be taking debt because there's things that you need to understand about financial instruments before you actually think it. Because one, you can take a debt as a liability instead of taking debt as an asset. All right, you take debt as an asset, not as a liability. But there's a number of things that you need to know. Again, are you collecting the right information? Do you have the ability to analyze this data? Do you have the ability to apply this data and mitigate it to work to your advantage? Perhaps you need a mentor, a coach, a sponsor, a supportive community that can really help you nav navigate some of these terrains. So there's what we call the factors that influence the success. What are those factors that are going to influence your success as you set yourself up to build that six, seven, or nine figure brand? Those factors that I want to talk about in the brief you need to put yourself in that position of strength to understand what we call the stress test ladder so you want to start a six seven or nine figure business do you know what is the stress test ladder do you know how to create brand relevance do you know how to position yourself to assess market viability do you know you know how to uh, identify access your demographic do you know if the ideal client has the ability to pay? Do you know if the ideal client have the willingness to pay? Are you stressed as in all of these things? Again, data, data collection, data analytics, data leverage, data mitigation. You see, when you want to build wealth, the wealthy people understand they follow the data. So if you're not following the data, it's the reason why you're going to fail. The number one thing that you can do to position yourself to build wealth is to invest in nurturing a wealthy state of mind. A wealthy state of mind embraces data. They have the ability to apply data. They have the ability to mitigate challenges. And you want to put yourself in this position of strength to collect the right information, analyze the right inf information in the right way, leverage information the right way, mitigate when necessary to optimize your level of success. To position yourself to win, you must always stress test your projects. We call it stress test ladder. I will not go into that now. And you also need to understand conversion ladder. What are the systems that you need to use to convert? And let me break this down as I conclude today's program. You start a six, seven, or nine figure brand. You don't know who is your ideal client, but you are struggling to convert people to become exciting consumers. That's going to set you up for failure. The debt will become a liability. What's going to set you up for success is when you set out to start a six, seven, or nine figure brand. And because you have stress test the demographic, you have stress test the business, you're starting the business and you know exactly how to create brand relevance. You know exactly how to assess market viability based on market size density and dispersion, you understand this. You now understand how to implement the client conversion ladder, all right, to build relationship, to take step, to increase visibility, to reach an impact on client, can optimize client conversion. And there's a, these are important concepts that you really need to understand when you're positioning yourself to build wealth. And as I said, there's a number of ways in which you can position yourself to build wealth. Whichever approach you're going to be using, ask yourself, what does the data say? Remember, a well, a wealthy people, they have a wealthy state of mind. A wealthy state of mind begins by you, first of all, embracing data, being able to analyze data, being able to apply data in the right way, and being able to mitigate. My name is Gary Thompson. It has been a pleasure being with you today, and I look forward to being with you in the near future. Be blessed, and see you in the next broadcast. When you become an influencer, it gives you the edge that separates you from the competition. The GIP Initiative to Global Influencers Partners Program is designed to expose you to over 5 billion potential consumers across the world. When you are a rising star in business and you need visibility, reach, impact, client conversion, and cash flow optimization, positioning yourself to become a global influencer may be the ideal tool that you need in your arsenal to win in business. I encourage you to join the GIP Initiative and position your business to build confidence, trust, and credibility, and cash flow optimize the fastest.